Hey everybody, the Bong is back. Welcome to part 10 of Let's Play Final Fantasy 2, brought to you by Game1.com. Now, where is it I'm supposed to go anyway? Oh yeah, I'm trying to get to the Dreadnought. I think it's this floor that's a bit of a maze. The other one was a bit simple. Ah, damn it. Gotta click to a little bit of venom. There we go. Yeah, I think this is the right way. Oh great, a couple soldiers. This shouldn't be any tr trouble, it's just an inconvenience. More than anything else. I think we're gonna just set a little bit of fire on them. Actually, usually we won't get a chance to. I mean, I know I'm mixing it up in Game Fury and Two Swords, but I like him as a swordsman. Okay. Oof, seven enemies I gotta deal with. That's okay. They should all go down. Ooh, I thought I took them all out. And the Vampire Thorns is still alive. Ah, not anymore. Now you're not gonna see much new enemies at all. Just the stuff you've seen before. I think one fire spell should be enough. Just like that. Yeah, it's a dark item. Wait a minute. Look at that character sprite portrait. Look at it. Does that look familiar to you? You're too late. The dreadnought is complete. I've been working hard behind the scenes to make the project through to completion. End your resistance. Kneel before your emperor. It is the only alternative left to you. Consider what I said. When the time comes, we will meet again. Hi, Borgen. Ha <laughs> ha Looks like you came all this way for nothing. See for yourself. Oh, was that a Kefka laugh? Oh, not good. Definitely not good. Dreadnought just got complete. Wow, they construct their ships pretty damn fast. Like, it wasn't even near completion yet when I got in the sewer, and all of a sudden, bam! Look at the size of this thing! It's huge! Oh, man. Well, I guess if your ship is called the Dreadnought, it has to be huge. Ah, uh, but apparently I didn't get every item. There's something I forgot to get. Oh, I got the pass. Perfect. Good thing I went back in there. That would have been easy to forget. Hmm. Teleport. Okay. That was not good. Dreadnought just got launched. Where am I on the map? Where is Bass corner everything else? Okay, okay. I gotta go around the mountains to get back. And that shouldn't be too bad. But now I gotta go back to Altair and let Princess Hilda know that hey, we fucked up. It's like the Dreadnought just got completed, we didn't do our job. Uh, please send us to our room and spank us. <laughs> oh, this is going to suck. Oh well, we might as well fly back to Altair. Let's head back to Popped. That was easy. Just a lone soldier, didn't stand a chance. Guess I'm still getting stats even without getting hit. Oh, I can't get in the ship. Oh! Ooh. That does not look good. What you want to do is blow up that thing's engine. Do that, and you can bring down the entire, the whole overgrown tub. Yeah, easier said than done. You just gotta get to there. Okay, let's head back to Altair. Easily, of course. Damn, the Dreadnought didn't waste any time nuking a whole bunch of towns. I'm pretty sure Pop is not the only one. 
I'm gonna take all these goblins and head back. Oh ho ho ho, man. There. Just one ninety degree angle this time. Jesus, look at this place. I just got nuked. The hideout's still safe. Yeah, at least you guys are safe. I would say the townspeople have taken refuge here. Good. Many were wounded in the Dreadnought's attack. The shock has caused my father's condition to turn for the worse. I hate that my father has to see this. He knows. He knows his death is near. Is there nothing you can do, Minro? All those who live must someday die. It is our fate. Still, it is my duty as the White Wizard to ease the pain of those who suffer. I shall remain here and devote myself to the care of the wounded. I take my leave of you. The fate of the world rests on you, Ferion. Waste no time in destroying the Dreadnought. Yeah, I can give like three youths a chance to destroy a giant ship. What can go wrong? My father's condition has improved a great deal thanks to Minwu. What do you know about the Dreadnought? Why is supposed to fight something so terrible? Hmm, well that seems like no help to us. Oh, maybe I should talk to the king and see what he's got to say. The king's illness goes far beyond the physical. There is little I can do. Yeah, yeah, shit. Oh, nothing useful. How about the king? So many perished in the Dreadnought's attack. Perhaps it would be best if we surrendered to the Empire. What do you know about the Dreadnought? Absolutely nothing. No one knows more about the airships than Sid. He was such a fine knight once. Ah, uh, how man change. Like, that is some help to us at all, man. I gotta think about who I'm supposed to talk to. Well, apparently they said I was supposed to talk to Sid, but I already talked to Sid and he gave me no information. Not only that, the ship is still at Pop, that means I gotta go all the way back through from Paluma Walk. All the way to Pop. Oh, I'm fucking real. Wait, I gotta walk all the way over there. Be right back, I'll meet you at Pop, okay? Well, that was a long trouble. I was not gonna subject you guys to watching the whole thing of... Okay, let's ask about the airship. Airships are powered by Sunfire. I'm sure the Dreadnought's no different. Well, finally, we learned a new term, Sunfire. Controlling Sunfire is a tricky business. Let the flames get too high, you gotta run away on your hands. The engine will blow sky high. Okay, finally, we got a new term. We can finally take that all the way back to Altair and see what we can do with it. Okay, we're not taking the airship this time, we're actually gonna sail. That way, the walk back could be a lot lessened. There we go. Now, uh, let's see what the princess and the king know about Sunfire. Has nothing to do with Pontiacs, don't get too excited. Not the Pontiac Sunfire, I mean actual Sunfire. Anyways, finally. I decided to give Maria a Mithril Knife instead so she won't be too overpowered. I mean, swords are probably the best weapons you can get, but I don't want to give two people swords. Not now. Okay, what do you know about Sunfire? Sunfire is the crest of the kingdom of Kashuan. Its flame still burns on the ground floor of Kashuan Keep. Scott and Gordon have told me many stories concerning the flame. The finer points of the tale are not known to me. However, I seem to recall that the flame cannot be passed through just any torch. Sid told us that we might be able to destroy the sun and be able to sunfire to destroy the dreadnought. Then there's no time to waste. You must depart for Kashawa and keep it once. If you hire Sid's airship, the journey should not take long. That leaves only one question. What can you use to bring the sunfire back? Hmm, I think one person might know. Let's give it a shot. Let's see if Minwoo knows. Every three years, they celebrate a festival of the flame in Kashuan. 
During the festival, the sunfire is passed to each Edgel's torch while the sun for Zir is cleansed. Oh, I talked to the king to get the term. Scott sealed the gates of Casual and Keith to protect the sunfire. In the event they were defeated in battle. You will need the goddess's bell to break the seal. Goddess's bell? Oh, this is interesting. Let's ask you about the goddess's bell. Gordon would know where the bell is kept, but I have not seen him lately. Someone close to Scott or Gordon may know where to find it. Hmm. Maybe the princess would know. I'll ask her in the next video. I'm out of time. See ya.